Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, my channel. My name is Bob Kelly. Um, I'm a born again Christian and I, I wanted to tell you about a, a story I have um, happened to me when I was a little boy. Um, an angel uh, saved me and I uh, thought it would be cool to tell you uh, what happened. Um, I grew up in, uh, in Jamaica Plain, and uh, I was born in 1965. So um, around that time, there was obviously a segregation, desegregation, civil rights, and, and then uh, where I grew up in Boston, there was uh, force busing. But before force busing, it was a very racially charged. Um, city and there was a lot of problems leading up towards that a lot of distrust of blacks and whites I lived on the a dead end street the last dead end street uh, heading into Dorchester in at Franklin Park where the big golf courses um, it's also a place where Ralph uh, Waldo Emerson had a had the schoolmasters uh, hill or house and from which he uh, when he was writing at the dial with Margaret Fuller who was, uh, was named after the elementary school I went to um, so I did I grew up in this um, dead end street the last street I heading into um, Franklin Park and uh, the main street that went through Jamaica um, Franklin Park, which is part of the Emerald Necklace of uh, Boston, that goes around Boston, and uh, Jamaica Plain has been called the uh, Eden of America by a woman writer who I, whose name escapes me, but that was uh, <clears throat> put forth in the 19th century. Um, so anyway, along. Um, came the 70s and uh, and I was just a kid but I grew up on a street where there was all kinds of kids and we would play you know I remember the first time I I, I, I went there um, I was the oldest in my family I was pro I was six and uh, there was a whole bunch of kids running around the neighborhood and they were all playing punch ball in this in this yard and they invited me to come up and play and they treated me so cool. I mean, they they there was girls and guys that were all my age. Uh, I found out later there were two huge Greek families, and then there was um, a German family. And <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else, but it was mostly white. Um, there was I think there was one black family um, at that time, and then things started to change, but. Uh, Anyway, um, we would, we, we the, the street ended and on the other side of the street was this, uh, I found out later it was a, a, a Ukrainian church. It was called Christ the King and uh, I didn't even know the name of it back then and I just knew that it wasn't Catholic and, you know, not that we were heavy Catholic or anything. In fact, we had, mom and dad had stopped, uh, really supporting the Catholic Church. Uh, however, um, we would um, jump the fence or go through the hole in the fence at the end of the uh, street, which um, led to the directly to where the parsonage was. And then the, there was m multiple acres, uh, I would say four or five acres of land. And uh, there was actually two um, side by side dead end streets that um, were, were, were adjacent to this land and the other dead end street we would head over towards and jump the fence there that ran alongside that street in, in, into um, the field where we would play baseball and we would play baseball you know I remember playing uh, baseball um, several times I'm not, not dozens of times but I would say maybe four, five, six, seven times. 
and but we would always keep our eyes out for the um the priesty because the the church grounds was um patrolled by two doberman pinchers and um so we always had to keep an eye out and we always would run run like hell to get out of there when we saw the first the priesty would appear and then the dogs would show up well one day um I mean, every single time we would be playing ball, <laughs> it was part of the dynamic. And uh, anyway, well, so one one day I got this great idea to go catch some a bird. With I had a stick, uh, a box, and some, some bread, as well as um, a, a string. And so I, I I went way to the far end of the grounds, near, right along. Um, the other uh, major street, which was Forest Hill Street. And I just had set up everything. I was by myself completely. I don't know where I got this idea. And I, I uh, set everything up. And I turned up around. I set the whole thing up. And just put the bread underneath there. And I looked up and there were two uh, two dogs, those Dolman Pinches, coming right at me. And they were like, I would say 30 feet away, less maybe 20. And I just started running as fast as I could to the fence that was uh, there. Uh, uh, it was about, I would say about a three foot fence. And now I had jumped every fence in the neighborhood up to that point. <laughs> but uh, I had never tried to jump this one. And I, I got my left foot up on, that was, that was a lefty. <laughs> and, uh, and my left hand was up there, my right hand was up there. And I, I tried to get up over that thing as fast as I could. And I started to fall back. And, and, and back towards the dogs. I wasn't going to make it. And, and the dogs were right there. But something grabbed me, picked me up, and put me over the other side of the fence. And I landed safely. And my me immediate reaction was, wow, there really is a God. <laughs> and um, I, I was like, wow, that was, that was amazing. And I don't even remember looking at the dogs. I, I just remember just... And nobody was there. I mean, that's a busy street. Nobody saw anything. It was just, I guess it was just one of those things where I, I'm the only one who knew what happened. And I, I just walked like around the block. Uh, it was about a five minute walk back to my house. And I, I told my parents and, and um, I couldn't believe it, you know, and I'm sure I must have told my friends. But by the end of the night, I, 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 I was having a second guess myself I was like did, did that really happen so anyway um, that was my you know first real encounter with God uh, I, I, he's put he's preserved my life several other times um, I, I, I the more I think about it you know um, and, and <clears throat> you know I, I'm just grateful for God for for what he's done for me and then <clears throat> You know, it's a miracle that, that I was, you know, able to think about Jesus at one point. I don't know how he drew me to him, but, um, you know, it, it's just a wonderful thing to know that I was able to uh, discover the Word of God. I mean, to, to look at, a, at my life and all the influence going through the 80s with all the, the strongest rock and roll in music videos that were out there to, um, you know, influence you and all the drink and the drugs and the, and, and, and the uh, deceptions that were out there, uh, you know, God can break through it all. He can, he is real, you know, and he's saving who he wants to save. And uh, his word is life. The Bible says his words are life. And he says, you know, come unto me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. He says also, look unto me to have life, all you ends of the earth. You know, those are the, that's the word of God. That's the, the word going forth. So if those words mean anything to you, I, I wouldn't wait any, any longer. And, and, and get saved today because it's the best decision you'll ever make and I just want to leave on that note and I thank you very much for spending some time with me this this morning have a great day